SharePoint is a fantastic addition to the Small Business Server 2003 and comes standard with the product. It is now possible to install SharePoint version 2007 onto your Small Business Server machine. However, any installation of SharePoint 2007 needs to be done in parallel with the existing version of SharePoint to prevent problems occurring. Detailed information about how to do this installation can be found on the Microsoft website. So, here we are on our small business server. As you can see, we have our standard server management, which shows us that we're on a small business server. And you'll see that we've brought up the standard SharePoint that comes with small business server. This is normally found under the website company web. Looking at SharePoint, you'll see that we have our standard layout, our toolbar across the top, our quick links bar down the left with our projects, general documents, archive documents. You'll also see that we've added a calendar web part to the front page, which you find is very handy for most staff. But apart from that, this is the standard SharePoint that comes with Small Business Server. Now, as we said, it's quite possible to install SharePoint 2007 in parallel with the existing version. So here we are at SharePoint 2007 on our small business server machine. Some of the major additions to this product are probably the recycle bin, which means that any content that's deleted by the user goes to a recycle bin, makes it far easier to recover information if it's deleted. Another enhancement is the ability to simply and quickly log in and log out as any user. You'll also notice in the top here that we also have an improved search facility and it also has the ability to search on different areas depending on where we're located currently on the site. SharePoint 2007 has a number of additions that aren't seen in version 2. The first of these is what's known as a wiki. A wiki is a general library that allows you to basically capture business intelligence and link it to other items. Another important addition to SharePoint 2007 is these project tasks. This allows you to view projects and items and arrange them in a graphical view like a Gantt chart for easy resolution. So let's go and have a look at both of these quickly. I've used the wiki library to create a knowledge base which I access from my quick link bar on the left here. I've got a number of articles here so if I go into Office 2003 documents as you can see I can view the properties, edit, manage permissions, uh, do a whole lot of things. So let me just click on it to edit it. Right so this is my information which is being indexed by SharePoint. I can go in here and I can edit it, um, add some information and then update the wiki. So now once I've done this I can quickly and easily go and look at the history. I can see how many different versions there have been. I can see what has been added in the last edition. I can look at the version history. I can manage the permissions. I can do a lot of things in here. We generally find that using wikis is a very powerful way to capture business information typically those bits of paper which are floating around the office which contain how to do this how to do that have a much better home in a wiki one of the other enhancements of office 2007 you'll notice is this breadcrumb navigation across the top here so that means that no longer do i have to remember where i am in sharepoint i can just follow the breadcrumb if i want to jump two steps back i simply click on the knowledge base and I'll be taken directly back there, simply and easily. So let's have a look at our project tasks. I've created a project library here called Server Installation. As you can see, I'm able to create a graphical representation of the tasks that I'm working on. In the, so the top part of this display is the standard Gantt chart, which shows me the items, when they're running from, um, and I've also got them listed down the bottom here. So I can click on these, Okay, and I can work on them and edit them as normal. Okay, another fantastic part of 
SharePoint 2007 is the fact that all the document libraries are RSS enabled. This means you can use an RSS feeder and pull the information to wherever you want it quickly and easily like any other standard feeds. So here are just two features that we think really improve the functionality of SharePoint and make it worthwhile as an addition to any small business server installation. However, please note that any installation of SharePoint 2007 on a small business server has to be done in parallel with the existing SharePoint version that comes default with small business server. Once again, the information on this is contained on the Microsoft website.